Hey, it's Nina Nevsky, and today I want to show you how to play the song Good Grace. It is such a beautiful song, and I totally simplified it and made it like a piano version. <laughs> um, and if you want to get serious about your piano ministry, go to pianoministrycourse.com, where I share a ton of things um, that you need to learn to play in different situations as a keyboard player. So during prayer, sermons, and things like that. It's so important. Okay, so I'm going to start off this song just by playing like... I'm going to do the entire song and then I'm going to show you piece by piece how to play it. People come together, strangers and neighbors, our blood is one. Children of generations of every nation of kings.
walls crumble down. All creation, everything with breath, repeat the sound. All his children, clean hearts, pure heart, good grace, good God. His name is Jesus. Or you can just stop the song, go to the next one. But I always love to kind of finish it off with some piano. If you want to learn how to do exactly what I just did and other things like spontaneous worship and want to play during a sermon, go to pianoministrycourse.com and um, just transform your ministry. Um, and now I'm going to go through the song part by part and I'm going to explain everything. So the introduction, what I did is I just kind of played this. At the beginning of the original song, you can kind of hear the guitar doing this like just like very random I'm just staying on the A chord um, and then I go into the introduction so people and what I play in the introduction is actually I'm playing it so instead of just playing the A chord like this I'm gonna play the A chord like this because see the regular A chord has A C sharp and E so instead of playing the E up here I'm gonna play it down here so these are the two notes of the A that I'm going to keep playing throughout the entire verse. And it's going to make it super easy for you, especially if you're a beginner. Um, and it's going to sound very still and quiet. So you're not going to have this like... Like too many chords. It's going to be very just calm. Which is exactly what you want. In a song like this so we're gonna start it off with uh, an A chord and then you're gonna go to D but you're gonna keep playing with your right hand the same exact thing throughout the entire verse okay so the only thing that changes is your left hand which is A you go to back, back to D back to A back to D and then F sharp minor and then you go back to A I mean D and A you're not going to hit as hard as I just did. Right now I'm kind of showing it to you. I'm focusing, but you want to hit the keys just like this. Very soft. The only thing that is the focus here is the voice. Children of generations tell the music is just accompanying all right so that's for the verse then we go into the chorus and the chorus oh my goodness guys to be honest I had to practice the chorus so much to do this tutorial it's crazy um so the way you do it is you start with the lyrics first before even going into the chords of the chorus. so down come you end the verse so don't let your heart be and then you go into something don't let your, and you only step in the chorus, the chords of the chorus on D. So what I like to do, instead of remaining low over here, I like to kind of go up. And so what I'm going to do, instead of playing A and E, now I'm going to play A and see how C sharp is a part of A. So I'm going to play A here. And I have a lesson on inverted chords. Like they are so amazing. They change your life. And um, yeah, you can check that out. I'm going to link it down below. So you have a C sharp and A. 
I like to go up there and play it like that. So don't let your heart be troubled. Hold your head up high, don't fear. So you could tell that it kind of brings a different kind of tone to it. And I think it looks, I mean, it just sounds beautiful. So what you're gonna do is just gonna play C sharp here and A throughout the entire course. Of course, you can change it up. If you're like more pro, you could just play like the chords. Heartbeat, Hold your head up high. You could do the regular chords, or you could just stay on that C sharp and A, and it's beautiful. Um, so what you're gonna do with your left hand is you're gonna play the chords of D, heartbeat, and then an A. Trouble. So you can choose to play an octave, A here and an A here, or just one A. And then E. And then an F sharp minor. Head up high, don't fear. D, no evil. A, back to E. Na, na, na. F sharp minor. So you see the groove? It's like. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 So I think the change in the groove in the chorus totally like made it really hard for me because the first two parts of the chorus make sense. It's like da 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 da. It's really logical, and then it kind of goes weird. Na 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 na. So you kind of just gonna practice it and familiarize yourself with it, but that's it. It's actually not hard as far as chords. All you're playing with your right hand is C sharp and A. With your left hand, you're just switching those chords. D, A, E, F sharp, D, A, E, F sharp minor. So that's it for the chorus, okay? So. Na, 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 na. Hold your head up high, don't fear, no evil. You can kind of add E if you want to, like. If you want to, you could just kind of add that E. Otherwise, you could just keep your hand like that. Anyway, and then you go to the interlude, and you can keep your hands like that, or you can switch to A and E here, like. Whoa, oh, that's a kind of a good middle, or you could just stay here. So remember, this entire song, your right hand practically stays at the same place all the time. You're just kind of switching the lower and the higher, but it's basically playing the A chord. It's amazing. So your left hand is doing all the chord changes, all right? So going to the interlude, uh, the chords are F sharp minor, D, so you got your F sharp minor, D, A, F sharp minor, A, Whoa, and then D, A. Whoa, 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 whoa. So if you need, rewind that, watch that slower if that helps you. Um, but that's it for the interlude. Then you have verse two, which is pretty much the same. You can go back to these chords again. G. So this is a lot louder. Our redemption, our salvation is in his blood. You can even go higher to the keys like C sharp and A. Jesus, or here. so creative with the song okay so however you like it to sound do it okay if you like that lower sound if you like that higher sound 
just remember that with your right hand you're practically playing A. So either A, B, or C sharp minor in any variation will sound great. Okay, and then you go into the interlude again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you go to a little instrumental before the bridge and you're gonna be playing E with your left hand, F sharp minor, D, and then A. And then with your right hand, you're gonna be playing this. the same chords with your left and then with your right hand you're playing B, B C sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp. play the right solo when someone is singing but when you're singing trust me it's really hard <laughs> because the solo the notes of the singing part is different than this so you can keep playing that if someone else is singing but if you're singing that's gonna be too hard so just play chords so play by chords or again you can stick to A just playing A and E so whatever you like to do again you can be super creative that's what I love about chords is you can do whatever you want so that is the entire song the outro um, actually, I missed one thing, is when you go to the whoa part again, whoa, at the end, the chords are a bit different, so there's no F sharp minor, you're just playing A, D, back to A, D, back to A, so there's no F sharp minor in that last um, interlude. And then the outro, goodness, it's such a long song. You just keep the A. Jesus, our redemption, our salvation is in his blood. You can give that tone again if you want, or you could just leave it empty. Jesus, light of heaven, friend forever, his kingdom come. You kind of end at that. So that is it. Again, if you want to transform your piano ministry, go to pianoministrycourse.com where I teach all these different little tricks. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in my next free tutorial. Bye.